one of like we were just talking about uh, in our, our, our pre-conversation, you've got to deliver, you, let's say you have a guy, he's going out to fix an air conditioning or he's going out to do a repair in a home. If that guy doesn't stock the truck right before, which is the job they're supposed to do, but let's say he's lazy that day and doesn't want to do it or forgets or yep. you know whatever, or he ends up on site and then he doesn't have the right part. Now that person has to leave the location, okay. drive to Home Depot, mm -hmm. get the part, come back mm -hmm. that was 45 minutes that you paid that guy that you're not generating any profit off of and now that job took longer and that might cascade back to the last job of the day that fourth appointment that's from four to six might now be from five to seven now you're paying somebody overtime you know what i mean now the customer's right. mad because they're they've got a repair person in their house during dinner time when they wanted the guy out of the house back so all of these things cascade into your sales and your profitability. And once again, it's just about hold the person accountable to do their job, put a system around it that just says, and the system doesn't have to be arduous. It could be mm -hmm. one question. Did you check that you had that? Did you check the labor? Did you thaw the burger patties at the end of the night? So the next day's lunch, the burgers are cooking at the right time and we're not creating this giant line of people at the door or at the drive-thru because everything's taking twice as long to cook. Right. That That's what we're talking about. Real, and these are small incremental things. It's not like you build one checklist that handles all of them. You just nail yeah. them. One question here, two questions there. Yeah. Just drop the accountability and the, and the data. 